Today on Spill the Beans, we are proud to have one of South Africa's most successful songbirds, Jay. Welcome to Spill the Beans, Jay. Thanks for having me. Okay, before we even start talking about how you got into this career, I have to ask, how did you achieve so much in such little time? Wow. I haven't thought about how much I've achieved, firstly. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been going at it since uh, I started. And um, I don't know, I'm just taking it one step at a time. And now I'm trying to venture out into different things besides the music. I think in entertainment, you've got you've to cover everything. Mm -hmm. So eventually, I want to try and do theatre as well. Because, I mean, I don't want to be prancing around on stage forever doing what I'm doing. I'd like to do something more mature later in life. But right now, I'm just enjoying what I've achieved. And I'm just trying to build on it. Excellent. So when, where and how did all of this happen? When Your, and how? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, it's been a long process, hey? it's very hard to say. But um, I think I started off going to record companies trying to get deals and obviously like lots of other artists or um, aspiring artists, you get turned down and whatever. But um, my manager and I kind of started our own record label. So mm -hmm. that's when it really started for me. Because basically I created the opportunity for myself. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm a strong believer in that. And I'm so glad that we did that because the first song that I wrote was Missing You. And it just so happens to be my biggest song yet. Yes. And yeah, just taking it from there. You successfully competed in the Shell Road to Fame, um, a duo called New Generations. And you toured China, Singapore and Hong Kong. Um, so what were your experiences all like? Well, this was all before I was Jay. This was when I was paying my dues, really. You know, as part of all these groups and I just took any uh, well most opportunities that came my way and I created some for myself I traveled got the experience mm -hmm. to perform live because that's really my favorite um, part of, of, of my career and I think as Jay it's been different because when you're a recording artist and um, things are just different your whole life changes the way you perceive yourself the way people perceive you it's not the same as just like traveling as a, a cover artist mm -hmm. You know, so I've enjoyed that and now I'm enjoying this. I understand Missing You has a history behind it. Please tell us a little more about this. Okay, um, well it happened about eight years ago. I lost my sister and her two kids in a car crash. And um, they were my biggest fans mm -hmm. at the time. I really felt like I wanted to put music. I didn't feel the need to continue because what was the point, mm -hmm. you know? And then my manager and I got together. My manager was also my brother-in-law. So he had lost his whole family. Yeah. So we got together and I was like, I just explained to him how, how, how much I really just want to give it up. There's nothing left for me. Mm -hmm. Musically, I just felt quite empty. And he convinced me to continue on because that's what they would have wanted for me. Of course. And then we started the record label and we haven't looked back. So, how did you feel when Missing You collected all these accolades? How, what were the, your thoughts and emotions then? Well, because of the story behind it, um, I was just writing down my feelings exactly. and it turned into the song Missing You. And somehow, I, I, I must be honest, I did not expect that kind of response from Trey mm -hmm. at all. So, I love, you know, what it's done and what it still does for people, what it does for me as well. But somehow, I just... I just feel, you know, it's a blessing it's from your it's sister. It's a blessing. Of it's a blessing, yeah. but I'd much rather have them here. Aside from being a successful singer, you are also a businesswoman who owns fifty percent of NB Records. Please tell us a little more about this. Um, NB comes from my sister Bronwyn, and mm -hmm. then the N comes from Noel, who's my manager and okay. her husband. So we just we kept that name, and um, it's nice to be businesswoman. Although I much prefer being the artist most mm -hmm. of the time because that's in my blood, you know, I'm just born with that passion. And I just think as the years go, I'm starting to get more into the business side because I've realized and I'm learning that it's not just about being an artist, it's about understanding your business because at the end of the day, it's your business. It is yours. Yeah, so Malia as well, that I'm not going to be, I don't want to be prancing around on stage forever. So I need to know more about how my business is run and how to, you know, develop on that. What do you think about the South African idols and the American idols? Honestly? <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> I used to feel differently towards the whole idol thing. I used to be like, okay, so we got these people who just enter this competition and they 
one of them win, but like the top ten become so successful and blah blah blah. And I had like I had kind of some issues with that, but I got over it as I got more mature, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm like, you know what? It's hard out there. It's hard for everybody. And if you can get an opportunity to showcase your your talents on TV in front of judges and you don't mind being nailed, then cool. I respect that. It's fine. And I must say, when Idol starts, I'm completely hooked. Really? I can't miss an episode if I'm not home. I'm recording it. But it's like, <laughs> I love an Idol um, this year because I had a, I had a favorite artist from the beginning, which is the the runner up, um, Adam Lambert, and I thought he was just one of the most amazing performing p- performers I've ever I've ever come across in my entire career. Is it? Yeah. So I don't think for me personally, I don't know who's ever gonna top that. So I really enjoyed it. But just a slight backtrack, you said you had your initial issues yeah. on um, at the idols. So Spill the Beans, tell us what were your issues with the idols? Well, <laughs> I'm not going to go like, <laughs> no, I just had the, the issues as in, you know what, there's a lot of artists out there, we, we pay our dues, you know, and I believe that you have to pay your dues. Not, not only because I have, and sometimes I feel like I, I, I still, I'm, I'm paying my dues, but mainly because it's, it's just, it's a fact <laughs> that we experienced in the industry, you actually become, you become a better artist, mm. you know, performer and singing in the studio. I feel if I had maybe entered idols like years back before, like when I was starting J, the J thing, like eight years ago, mm. I don't think I would be, I think the judges would have nailed me basically because I wouldn't have had all the experience that I have yeah. now. And I think as good as the artists are, it's nice to be out there in the world mm-hmm. and experience what it's like to be in the music business. Because when you, when you come into it on that level, you're on a high. So I feel like it will be really difficult for them to handle when things are not so on the high. Yeah. You know? I so I think you. it kind of prepares you. When, you. when you pay your dues and you get the experience, it prepares you psychologically as well. Exactly. Mm. And in the South African idols, who would you say were your favorite? South African idols, um, TMB was one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. was disappointed when she dropped out. When Matthew, I also liked Matthew, um, and he dropped out quite early. I was disappointed about that. And in the top two, I did like both of them. I felt like the best two were there. And my favorite was Jason. Yeah. I think Sasha Lee is really good and she's got an amazing song on radio right now. Love the song. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that's that. I, I really felt Jason should have won. So Jay, is there anyone special in your life? Definitely. Do you want to share a little bit more? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a special, a very special person in my life. And um, you don't want to spill the beans on who he is just yet. But hopefully in our second season you do. Maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, what is a day like in, in the life of Jay? Oh my gosh, so random. Wow, really all over the place. Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I try to I try to squeeze in gym even though it's getting harder <laughs> winter time. You know how it is. You don't yeah. get up in the morning actually. Exactly. <laughs> but um it's every day is different. That's what's nice about it. Mm-hmm. I don't have a set routine, thank goodness, because I think I would just crumble up to mundane. Yeah. Yeah. And how do you feel about the 2010 World Cup um, being held in South Africa? Oh, I think like everyone else, I think it's awesome. It's just, it's something that we so deserve. Exactly. You know, we're an amazing country and I think we, we deserve it. <laughs> yeah, we've earned it. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. How do you feel the entertainment industry is going to benefit from this? Um, I mean, there's, there's, there's just so much opportunity to showcase yourself to international of people which most artists in this country would not be able to maybe get themselves overseas to showcase themselves that side. Mm. So it would be nice to get people here and then also broadcast it around the world and people get to see what talent actually lies in South Africa yeah. because I don't Who think... pop singers are. Yeah, I don't think the world really knows um, how good we are here in this country. We've got what it's safe. That is true. Mm. Are there any performances lined up that we can look forward to? Um, I'm actually record. I'm still recording my album. I'm not rushing. I haven't been rushing it. I decided um, to take my time with this one. Yeah. 
um, I do a lot of corporate work and which I'm fine with because I haven't released my new album but once that is released you'll, I'll do a lot more public shows and everyone will know about them, they'll be well publicized. Okay. But at the moment I'm focusing on basically lots of um, TV work actually. Yeah. So we started a little production company, we're going to be doing our, um, some TV work as well, which is something I've always wanted to do, mm -hmm. so I'm venturing out into that as well. Okay. So I'm, I think I'm more focused on that and then I'm just fixing my, my songs that I've already started doing like last year. Okay. That's very interesting. Um, let's talk about this when we come back from the ad break. Don't go away, we'll be back right after this. <laughs> watching Spill the Beats and we're chatting to singing sensation Jay. Jay, before the ad break we were talking about your production company. Tell us a little bit more about this. Well basically we're just at the beginning stages. Um, we kind of thought you know let's try something different and it's also something I've always wanted to do just TV mm -hmm. and it, hel it does help an artist. I mean some people do it the other way around you know. Mm -hmm. They either become TV stars first and then get into music and whatever but I've I've done it the other way around and it's fine because I, like I said earlier experience is everything and um, it's just it's a company we started it's small mm -hmm. and it's going very well we started on we've got two quite solid projects at the moment which we're working on and we hope that it gets aired soon we hope that it goes really well because I think that both of the concepts are great and I think South Africa is going to take to it and um, which uh channel are you working on this? No specific channels yet. Um, we just we just doing the projects and we're trying to do it as best as we can and then um, everything else will be revealed later. Okay. Yeah. So I guess we don't uh, you're not going to start the productions yet either. <laughs> <laughs> She's not spilling the beans. <laughs> okay. Um, where do you get your inspiration from when you write all your lyrics? Um, inspiration comes from the strangest places at the strangest times. Yeah. I'm talking about when I'm driving, honestly I get most of my ideas, somehow. Because I like to drive in silence, I like, I like quiet, and I get to, I get to think of, yeah. you know, things. And suddenly it just, it just occurred to me that, wow, most of my ideas actually come when I'm driving. So I've kind of got my dictaphone slash phone, <laughs> and I'm recording um, demos while I'm driving sometimes, <laughs> as ridiculous as that sounds, or so maybe when I'm trying to fall asleep, which is the worst time because I'm trying to shut off. Yeah. So it's not a specific place, you know, all the time, it's very random, very different. Sometimes I look at someone's life or my own life, um, I want to happen in my life or things I'm not happy about or etc. It's just so many different places. Sounds very much like me. I also get yeah. my inspiration, inspiration while I'm driving. Really? It's the only time I can actually think and jot everything down when I'm driving because oh. I'm by myself then. So Okay, I don't feel that weird now. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, what effects would you say fame has had on you? Phew. <sighs> Trick question. <then. laughs> okay. 
Let's spill a little beans here. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what effect? Um, negative and positive. Mm -hmm. I must be honest with that. Um, in terms of going to the shop, which is like a normal thing for me, mm -hmm. that was painless before. That's painful. <laughs> and now, sometimes it can be really painful. Really? It can be painful because all you want to do is just purchase what you put. I want to buy soup mix. Oh. I want to just buy my soup mix and just go home <laughs> and be normal. And you go to the store where you normally go and you think, okay, everyone knows me here. It's Not fine. A big deal. I can go and get something like milk or whatever. And then you get out of the blue, you get people just to check like, it is her. No, it's not her. It's her. They <laughs> follow you around the shop and like, oh, what? yes, guys, it is me. <laughs> so sometimes that's not a good thing, but sometimes it's a wonderful thing. It's nice to be acknowledged, yes. But it's not nice to be like scrutinized. Mm. I'm not comfortable with that. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get comfortable with that. Cause I'm just, you know, I'm just like a normal, down to earth person, and I don't know what people expect. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like if people expect you to be bodyguards around you all the time, <laughs> and that's not life. That's not the way it works. Not in South Africa. No. Yeah. That is true. Well, talking about that then, in your opinion, um, do you think South African celebrities are hounded as much as the Hollywood paparazzi hounds their celebrities? No, definitely not. Definitely not. I don't even know if South African celebrities want to be hounded like that. I, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't imagine that. Yeah. You know, when I watch the true Hollywood stories and what have you, it's shocking, it's scary. <laughs> and I can completely understand why a lot of the celebrities do what they do, you know, you get, it's easy to just go off the rails because it's so much pressure, you can't exactly. live with it. It's, I mean, I, I can't imagine that. I, I'm quite happy with them making my music and having people love it and listen to it and me doing my shows. That's me, that's what I like. Yeah. I don't want to be hounded by anybody. I don't want to be scrutinized. I don't want to be, I don't want people to put me on a pedestal because I don't belong there. Mm -hmm. I'm just a person and I have flaws. Well, truly very down to it. Yeah. So. Or what was your most outrageous encounter with a fan? <laughs> <laughs> I really have to think about that. That's I, if if you mean outrageous, if you're meaning something like weird and, and like whack, I I or even good. good. There's been so many good um, episodes with fans, but um, I can't say that one particular incident stands out. But. Um, I just have really nice fans. Okay, good. Yeah. So no one's stalking you, sending you. Well, not that I know of. Secret admirer mails. I, I've had like um, those kind of things where um, guys have, have have tried to be forward or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then it's cool because somebody will step in for me, you know, one someone from my team, or yeah. I don't have a problem just like letting you know we draw the line either. Yeah. So. Um, do you think it was easier to get into the music industry when you did, or is it easier now? I think it's easier. Was easier when, I, mm -hmm. yeah. I think it was easier when I did, because now if you look at the the state of the world, mm -hmm. you know, I don't think it's a good time for to really start something, especially in entertainment. I, I don't. I don't think so, and especially with um, the piracy going on yes. and record labels are kind of dropping artists more than they taking on artists so no I think it's a bad time now. So BJ do you have a personal stylist with you 24-7 makeup artist uh, or wardrobe designer with you all the time? What do you think? <laughs> I'd say well very smartly dressed <laughs> you look amazing. Well because I'm coming to sit with you hello I have to keep up. <laughs> no seriously I have um when I need, like today, and when I'm doing like big shows or normal shows sometimes, it just it all depends. Yeah. If you're doing something I can handle myself, I'm like, cool, I can do basic makeup, mm -hmm. I can do my own hair. Looking the way you're dressed, you're stunning and absolutely gorgeous. Well, I'm in style by Susie um, from the Max Institute of Fashion Art for the entire year, and today the fabulous look is done by Susie. Excellent. Yes. Well, thanks to Susie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is one this of is what I'm talking about. This is, this is why yes, these that's what I'm people about look too. so good on the red carpets. Yeah. <laughs> but it's painful. <laughs> it really is painful. Shall we leave it up here? Yeah.
Who's going to be able to sing in this? This is all closed. Where's the space? Where's the space? Where's the space? Where's the space? You are a role model to many young South Africans, and like I said, you look stunning and absolutely fabulous. What's your secret? What's the question again? <laughs> <laughs> You're a role model to many <laughs> South Africans, um, and like I said, you look stunning, fabulous. So, what's your secret to keeping fit and looking the way Jay does? Um, wow. Thanks, firstly. <laughs> I love the fact that um, I am a role model, apparently. And um, though I must admit it's quite a responsibility, yeah. it is, because nobody's perfect. Mm -hmm. And um, I just try to do the best I can with regards to that. And regarding, I think it's important to work on your look all the time. It's yeah. important to look after yourself, period. Whether you're a celebrity or not. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for someone to look after their bodies, you know, as well as their souls and their minds. It all works together. So I try to do that, you know. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I'm, I just have like really bad periods. I just don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to do anything. I just want to look hectic. You know? <laughs> then, you know, like a normal person, I go through those phases. And I'm just getting over one now. <laughs> so I just started to get, pull myself together again. Okay, I've got to do this. And I've chosen a hard time, which is winter. Yeah. So, but it's nice because it's a challenge for me. Exactly. Summertime comes, I'm sorted. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> Well, Jay, we need to take a very quick ad break, but when we come back, we'll have some fun in our next segment. There's an ad break on the way. We'll see you on the other side of this. Don't go away. Welcome back to Spill the Beans. Jay, like I said before, um, we're going to have some fun in our next segment. It's called the Espresso Round. In this round, you have to answer all your questions as quickly as possible, as honestly as possible, and uh, no yes or no answers. No. No. <laughs> she said no. Okay, you ready? And if you win, I, I may just give you a little crazy. If you answer all properly. <laughs> oh, the <it's a> food. <laughs> <Same> <laughs> She's sounding more and more like me. I love food. <laughs> okay, choose one of the following. Tea or coffee? Coffee. A summer or a Grammy? Grammy. Missing you or I like it? Missing it. The outdoor life or indoor life? Outdoor. Fruit or candy? Fruit. Um, all done up or the morning look? The morning look. <laughs> Bollywood or Hollywood? Hollywood. <laughs> Will Smith or Brad Pitt? Uh, Will Smith. Well done, not too bad. Okay, answer the following questions. Your favorite item of clothing? Jeans. And something you can't live without? Water. If you were stranded in the desert, what three things would you wish for? Water. Sunblock. My man. <laughs> no food? As long as I got water, I'm sorted. <laughs> Um, what's a must-have in your handbag? Lip glass. <laughs> your role model? My mother. Okay, now describe the following in one word. Michael Jackson. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Barack Obama. Outstanding. Jay's cooking. Divine. <laughs> Hollywood paparazzi. Ah. <laughs> Charlize Theron. Stunning. Well done. <laughs> I think you answered all your questions truthfully. So 10 out of 10 for you. In that case, yes, I do have a little gift for you. Oh, I love eggs. Oh, my word. <laughs> this is divine. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I hope so you enjoy them. Thank, thank you, you so much for joining us on Spill the Beans. But before we go, any message to the viewers? Basically, look out for my new stuff. Um, working on a wonderful collaboration for 2010. I've got um, Durban's Finest, I've got Incha, we've got a KZN Gospel Choir and myself. It's going to be an amazing song and I'm working on my album, I'm working on my TV stuff, so there's a lot to look forward to. 
Well, thank you, Jay. We wish you all the very best. Thank you so much for having me. It was fun. That's a wrap from Spill the Beans. We see you next week. Same time, same place. Take care.